What's up guys, it's Future Slow here, and in today's video we're going to be talking about how I set up my NQ charts to look exactly like this, as this has been my most requested video by far, um, how I trade footprints on NQ, and what is my exact setup. In the future we'll be talking about how I set up my ES chart, but today we're going to focus on the NQ chart. Really quickly before we get into the video, make sure you go ahead and follow my Twitter in the description. I talk a lot about how I trade the footprint on NQ daily there. Um, sometimes these videos take a while to push out, but it's a lot easier for me to post on Twitter my setup daily and you guys can learn a lot from it so make sure you go ahead and click that follow button so you have some good stuff on your feed every single day so first things first go ahead and load up a 20 range chart on the footprint make sure you turn on tick replay and the only thing else I do is turn on do not plot and we're gonna go ahead and add in the TDU footprint and once we add in the TDU footprint we're gonna set it so that it's set to our NQ template. Now in the Discord, I'm gonna be releasing a course on how I trade the NQ footprint. I've already released the course for the ES footprint, but the NQ footprint's coming out um, in the following month. And on my Twitter, I'll be talking about it completely for free, so make sure you go ahead and follow it there. Now I know I use Delta a lot on the ES footprint, but I don't focus it as much on the NQ footprint because NQ is a bit more illiquid, which is why it's able to move so easily. So I like to focus on where trap traders are based on the volume where trap traders are and i like to focus on ratios a lot so what we're going to do is we're going to set up the volume bars on our footprint and it's going to be centered on the right but first we have to go ahead and change this to the bid and ask and we're going to make it so we can still see the bid and ask but it's going to be focused on the left side of the footprint instead of in the center and change the spacing to six pixels and we're going to change these last three colors down here to dark gray and now we're gonna focus on the volume bars. So we're gonna change this to none. Size offset to two. We're gonna put this to histogram. Oh wait, sorry. This size offset set to zero. And then the inner, set the spacing to five. Um, background, we're gonna set it to total volume. And then set the scaling to bar. And then change these spacing pixels to two. And then the only, the only thing we're going to change is set this to imbalance, as well as uh, select the colors to solid. Next, we're going to change these last three colors down here, and we're going to set it to dark gray. Now, for the bar background, center it left, none, bar, um, solid, neutral. And like to darken the rest of the footprint is pretty simple we're pretty much just turning everything off we have the ratios on and by default you should have this ratio set to if the ratio is greater than 30 set it to red and if else if the ratio is less than 0.7 it's lime um, that should come on the td footprint by default i turn everything off here except for the trap traders feature and this feature um is a feature I asked the dev to add into the footprint pretty much based on where the volume shows up it will be a trap candle it's not based on Delta it's based on volume now everything else we're pretty much just turning off as I don't really focus it too much on NQ Delta divergence bar value area exhaustion prints if you want to keep this on it's actually not um, it's actually pretty helpful but recently I haven't been using it volume sequencing I turned off I like to keep my footprint really really simple and imbalances I uh, keep on right so these imbalances will show up not on the bid and ask but they're gonna show up on the actual bar um, the bar volume which is actually really really uh, cool to see and then I set it to about 350 percent you don't have to use 350 percent I really recommend between 300 and 400 percent now stacked imbalances I keep off that's another really helpful feature if you do want to keep it on it's not a bad feature but I'm able just to spot it uh, without it pretty easily. Now for the footprint summary, I don't have volume on, but I have delta, max delta, minimum delta, and then everything else I turn off. But for these colors down here, I change them to black. All right, I'm not really focused too much on these numbers. Uh, I'm more focused on where the volume is showing up. And then everything else is pretty much turned off. If you want to turn on some alerts, you can. The volume profile I have turned off. I keep the paint bars on, but the outline for down bars is red. Outline for up bars is cyan. And then up bars, once again, is cyan. And uh, make sure you go ahead and turn this off so those letters don't show up at the top right of your screen. 
And then that's it for all I have. That's all I have on the footprint for NQ. You can see that's what the footprint looks like. Now there's a couple things we need to do on the chart. You see down here how we can't see the ratio. Now what we have to do is we have to go here, click properties and set this to about 15% each. And then now you can see we can see the ratio. So now that we have the footprint done, we have to focus on the actual five minute chart over here. Now the five minute chart, I find my levels through the volume profile and through fibs. So I use both of the TDU um, volume profile and I use their auto fibs feature as well, which is really helpful. We're going to go into our control panel. We're going to click new and we're going to click chart. I want to go ahead and pull this up, put on NQ. We're going to put it to a minute chart, a five minute chart, and you can change the color candlesticks to whatever you want. So we have a very plain chart here. Let's go into our indicators. So go ahead into the indicators and add in the volume profile. And let's go ahead and start setting it up. So what I like to do is I like to have the custom session set to 9.30 to 16 o'clock, which is 9.30 to end of close of New York Stock Exchange open. What you can do is set it from 18 o'clock to 16 o'clock so it has the overnight session with New York Stock Exchange session. Or you can just have two different volume profiles set up. Um, personally, this is the way I like to do it. I have the color mode set to mono. And everything I keep default except for the vertical spacing, I set that to one and I enable smoothing and I have the setting set to four and the current profile, I have it set on the right, but you can set it to the left and then the pivots, I have it set to none. Now everything else is pretty much just default. Um, I have low volume nodes on, but what I like to do is I like to um, lower these mono opacity to like 50% and that's it for the volume profile. Next, the auto fibs right here. I keep it completely default, but what I do is I set the 0% and the stroke to transparent as I just want to see the fib lines. It's going to look like this, nice and simple. And what I do is I have the footprint on the left, right? Pretty much just like that. Footprint on the left, volume profile on the right. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Soon enough, I'll upload the ES setup just like this one. If you're in the VIP Discord, you have the template inside of the settings channel, which you can just download that and paste it into the folder, and you'll have all these uh, already shown up. But if you want to learn um, how I trade these setups, I will be posting some content on my YouTube, but all the information will be inside of my Discord, the VIP section, where I go in-depth, step-by-step on how I trade the footprint, not only on NQ, but also ES. And I will also post some information on my Twitter. So be sure to follow that as that's also completely free there. But if you enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.